Hello Aquarians, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in September. This reading is for all of the Aquarians out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising sign videos. Cross watchers are always welcome. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like you connect with this reading. And you feel like I am the reader for you. You connect with me at the subscription link to show some support along with the notification bell so that you are notified when the videos are posted. Hit that thumbs up image to help the video circulate. Okay, and if you need a personal private reading, the link to the email address is in the description box. This is a new um, table cover that I put down and it's kind of like trying to get itself right. <laughs> so we are starting you off Aquarians with the Magician card, Gemini energy, Virgo energy as well with the Nine of Cups. Okay. Okay. Some of you are... <clears throat> oh, okay. Some of you are either manifesting money. Hey, I'm hearing money, 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 money. Some of you had some money coming in. Money. Money, 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 money. The Eight of Swords. Someone could be manifesting stability in a relationship. Okay. Three of Cups. Let's see. Aquarius. Aquarius. All right. All right. So I'm seeing Queen of Swords. Ten of Cups. Eight of Cups. This could be your energy or your partner's. And we have the chariot, the um, cancer's energy is here. You have the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So some of you may be thinking about money at this time. You may have money on your mind at this time. I hope you can see all of the cards. I tried to do a little, um, a different layout. So you guys won't get bored. <laughs> with the um uh, okay let me just go ahead and shut up anyway so you have the queen of some of you are manifesting money i see that right off the back manifesting money and that's or if you're not manifesting money you are um manifesting stability like you have a wish for stability within a union. However, I do see that some of you need to, um, you may have some, some folks around you that are sneaky. I see three rats here. Three rats, three mice. I see three. The number three may be significant to you. So, um, Yeah, I'm seeing the number. I'm seeing three. But anyway, um, some of you have some sneaky people around you and you uh you you may need to um be mindful of your the people that are around you. I feel like these people are the people that are close in your circle. And you may need to watch out. This could be friends, family, just watch out. Or be not be on the lookout, but just know that there are people that sneak around you. Like some they somebody or someone may be like gossiping or something. I'm hearing someone gossiping gossiping. But um yeah. But on to bigger and better things. Someone is um manifesting money and lots of it. Or you your wish is that you come into a lot of money and this is what you're manifesting. 
I feel like at this time, um, with the Eight of Swords, some of you are overthinking. Some of you are overthinking. You may feel like you are in some type of mental imprisonment at this time. Could have something to do with um, someone that you cut off. Someone that you used to party with or have you used to have a good time with. You cut this person off. And either that person is in their head or you are. But someone is overthinking. Someone is in their head about this union and the stability of this union. Because this could be that person. If this is not you manifesting to, to bring in stability within a union, that's this, the other person. Because I am also seeing someone manifesting like their wish is to have stability in this union some this could be someone that you work with but i'm seeing like someone is up in their head because they want to come in to have some type of celebration but i feel like you cut this person off yeah and this person um like, you're, like, home to them or they are, like, home to you. But I'm seeing you walked away from this person. Or they walked away from you. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. Someone walked away from this union and moved on with this chariot cancer energy. Someone moved on because they know their worth. Okay. Spirit, what other messages do you have for my Aquarians? Yeah, someone's um, trying to manifest stability in this union. Because either you or them, someone walked away. And it could have been because of a third party with this Three of Pentacles. Could have been because of a third party. Yep. Right here. Someone was juggling. Someone was juggling. Taking their time. This person was taking their time to bring this union together with you because they were um, in a family. This, someone already has a family. Mm -hmm. And here's the mistress. So I don't know. Like, if you were in a family with this person or if this person had a family, but someone had a family and there was a mistress on the outside. And that union was toxic. It was toxic. This person was manipulative. They had addictions. They um, overindulged in things. Could be a Leo with the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Capricorn. Could have been a Capricorn as well. If someone has Capricorn in their chart. And it and I feel like you you used all your strength and courage to distance yourself from this person, or they did this to you. This person could also be a Scorpio, a Taurus. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo. Leo was here three times. A Leo or another Aquarius. I feel like you distance yourself or this person distanced themselves from you. But someone wants to travel towards the other person at this time. <clears throat> Again, with the sun card, it could be a Leo. Someone wants to come back. So, someone wants to come in. You, you distance, okay, someone distanced themselves from this union because it was toxic, created some distance. You and this person could live in two different cities, two different states, two different countries. This is like a long distance relationship. And I feel like whomever put the distance in a relationship, it was because this other person was a player with this Knight of Wands. Someone 
was a player. They were here, there, everywhere. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Or wherever she laid her hat was her home. <laughs> Someone was a player. And that's why this other person created this distance. It was illuminated to you. The universe showed you that this person was a player and was never going to change. And I feel like with this four of swords here, you you could have been up at night thinking about this person because the swords is your energy. It could be either way, but apply the energy as if it's to your story. Someone was up at night thinking about this situation. Like not getting much sleep, needing rest. Like what is going on? And I feel like in the unrest, it was illuminated to you that this person was a player. So you put an end to it with the death card Scorpio energy. To, you put an end to it so that something new can come in. Because this person was a player. Yeah. And now they may be trying to come in to work on this situation. With this eight of pentacles. Someone could be trying to come back in to work on this. I'm seeing a letter A. Someone is coming back in to work on this. This person is coming back in to, um, to try to rekindle this. They're going to come in quickly, and I feel like it's because they love you. This person has a lot of love for you. King of Wands. We have a king and a queen here. They're not of the same suit, so this isn't a marriage. That's why I said someone is married, but these are two different. Um, These two people are this queen of cups and this king of wands. Someone has a, a water moon sign. Yeah, here it is again. This King of Wands was juggling, trying to figure out, like, how they were going to, uh, how they were going to, um, keep the people that they were dealing with. Look at all those hands. And, and like, he's trying to balance this out. Like, oh, who do I give to today? And that's what created the Tower Moment, Scorpio Aries energy. So now this person has a decision to make. But I feel like someone has a decision to make about walking away from something else in order to hold on to this union with you. But I feel like, what's the outcome? Spirit, what's the outcome for my Aquarians? Okay, all of the cards wants to fall on the floor. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, boy. Ah. <laughs> trying to make, trying to make sure I got all the cards. Ooh. Oh, here's the other card. Yeah, see, this person has choices. Some, this person, this player, still have choices, options. They have options, but they are, they do have regrets about things that they've done and they do want to overcome these obstacles for, to have a new beginning because I feel like they're feeling overwhelmed. This person misses you or you miss them. I do see someone missing the other person. Let's see. What other messages they have? What other messages? What other messages are here from? Okay. See, this person is saying, I still love you, but I don't want to be with you. Ooh. I still love you, but I don't want to be with you. I feel like this person loves you, but they can't be with you. My entire world changed when you came into my life. I don't want to be with anyone else. I don't want anyone else to have your heart. 
This person doesn't want you to be with anyone else. This person looked at you. You changed their life. They love you, but they can't be with you. They can't. And they're saying, I still choose you. I'm sorry I listened to them over you. So someone was listening to friends and family. Someone was listening to friends and family and not listening to their heart. And that's what created this tower moment. Because this person chose... These people may have been gossiping about you. Remember I said earlier that I saw some rats. Like, there were some people that was gossiping. I think I said that earlier. And they came right back to me. So this person may be taking a risk at this time. They may try to come in and take a risk at this time to see like if you are going to continue on playing this game. But you're, I feel like you're walking away. You're free from this toxic energy because this person was wearing a mask. This person was presenting themselves to you one way, like the player, but deep down inside, I feel like this person had lots of love for you. And they, and, and they never told you how they felt. They never showed you how they felt. They treated you like a mistress. And that's what caused the separation and a breakup. And then with the clock in a reverse, someone's time has run out. I feel like you gave this person uh, ample times to... To, ch to change the situation, to prove themselves to you, or um, you gave this person a time. But again, they strung you along. They treated you like you was a one-night stand, and they had options. Again, some of you, just this number three is significant. There are three keys here. I'm, I'm seeing the number three again. So, Aquarians, I am going to leave it at that. This is your reading for the energy in September. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. If you need a personal reading, the link to the email address is in the description box. Be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and a thumbs up image. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.